Hey guys, welcome back to Super Platinum Achievement. I'm Mitch, and today I'm bringing you another product review on a controller for the Nintendo Switch. Now remember, if you like these kinds of videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to like this one and uh, see our future videos. Now this controller is a third-party controller that I snagged off Amazon uh, for 30 bucks, so less than half the price of a um, actual Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now, I got this one because the design was very different, um, and I wanted to see how comfortable it was. It's a smaller controller than the Pro Controller, but it's got these wider grips to it, and it's it's different. It's not my favorite for comfort-wise. Um, you know, some people might like it, depending on the shapes of everybody's hands and, and size, um, but it's not my favorite. Now, this controller is, once again, very third-party, like some of the other uh, controllers I've reviewed. Uh, it's just a wireless controller for the in-switch, or how it says on the front, for in-switch wireless controller. Um, now, it comes with everything you need. It comes with uh, the controller and the USB-C cable to charge it and or pair to the switch. Um, now, the nice thing about this controller for the price is it has all the features that an actual Pro Controller has. It has rumble, it has the gyroscope, it has NFC. That's the big thing. A lot of these third-party controllers do not have NFC capability. This one here does. Um, it does show all the features on the back as well. And I've played with this controller for a few hours now, and it's not bad. Um, it's better than a lot of third-party controllers I've used. The buttons still have that uh, cl plasticky click feel to it. Uh, the right trigger, especially for some reason, the left trigger, the, the ZL, feels okay, but the ZR has that uh, plasticky click to it that I don't like. Same thing when you click the sticks. They're very plasticky, not quality feeling. Um, other than that, it's it's been pretty good. Um, it paired to the Switch, no problem. It took a little bit longer. It doesn't have the, the sync button that a Pro Controller has. You have to push uh, the home button and Y at the same time to put it in pairing mode and hold it there until these lights on the front start flashing. Um, but yeah, it's it's okay. Um, it's not the best controller I've used. Uh, it The Pro Controller is much better. I'd say it's a great option if you want to get a Pro Controller just as a spare for somebody else comes over and is playing. It's perfectly fine for that. Or if you've got kids that you don't want to hand them, you know, a $70 um, controller and then possibly break it or get it all all mucked up or anything like that. This one's a great option for that being only 30 bucks. And like I said, I played uh, several hours of gaming with it um, on a couple different games and it worked just fine. Um, I didn't really have any huge complaints besides that comfort, the shape, which is the reason I got it because it was very different. Um, it's just not for me. Um, the shape is not super comfortable. My hands did start to kind of get cramped after a little bit. Um, you've got to find, you know, what works for you, the way to hold this controller. It's, it's just very different. Overall, um, I'd give this controller probably a three out of five star. The thing that's holding it back is that, that, cheap plasticky feel that the, some of the buttons have and the comfort. It's not the most comfortable controller. However, for the price, it is really good. Um, I'd almost give it a four out of five just because of the price and that it has all the features of a pro controller. But me personally, it's just not comfortable enough to give it that four out of five. I'm going to have to stick with three out of five. Um, I'll post the link below where I got it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, if it's, uh, you know, you need a spare pro controller or something for your kids or anything like that, it's a good option. It's affordable. It's one of the cheaper wireless controllers out there for the Nintendo Switch that still has all the features. I haven't found any that are, that are cheaper that have all those features. Um, but yeah, this one's great. Uh, for that, um, I, you know, it's up to you. I wouldn't say go pick it up right away. Me personally, I'd save up, um, for a nicer pro controller, but for 30 bucks, it is great for that price. Uh, for $30 controllers, I'd have to give it a five, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's another review for you from super platinum achievement. Make sure to like the video comment on if you have any experience with this controller and subscribe and we'll see you in the future. Thanks.